We're here at the Nike Hoop Summit with Zachary Reza Shea. Zachary, uh, how are you feeling so far in Portland? I feel great. Uh, I'm glad to be here to, uh, to get this opportunity to, to showcase my talent and uh, show me as a person uh, to explain my, myself as a basketball player. Yeah, I'm ready to do, to do what I love here in Portland. What was your reaction when you got this invitation? And what does this week uh, mean for you? Honestly, uh, I, w I was happy. Uh, but I, uh, I take that as a uh, compliment. But uh, that pushed me to be better and uh, the greatest that I, that I can be. So that's, uh, that's it. I don't <laughs> A lot of great players have played in this event, um, American guys and also internationals. Um, you know, guys like Jokic, I'm also from your country, Ivan Fournier. Um, you know, how do you how do you approach this week? What, what is your goal for this week? Um, I don't have uh, any goal for this week except uh, uh, win uh, the game to Saturday night and uh, and, sh and show 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 me as a uh, as a basketball player as. A, as, uh, as me, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I want to be real here and, uh, expert, uh, and showcase uh, what I can do on the court. Sure. What is your game for people that don't know you? When you're out there on the court playing well, what are some of the things that you're doing out there? I think I can do whatever I want on the court. I think it's my strength uh, when I play basketball. We saw you today making shots, getting a lot of deflections, making some nice passes. Um, you know, you seem to have a lot of versatility to your game. Yeah, I think that my, my strength and uh, uh, I, I'm trying to to I have uh, to get a bit better skill. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, always improve. Uh, I uh, always improve uh, my skills, and uh, I think that's the right way to to think. Sure. We saw you today playing pick and roll like a guard, but you know you're almost six ten. You have the size of you know really like a power forward. What is your true position? Where are you most comfortable? Uh, um, I'm a I'm a three. Uh, I would like to to get lower as a as a two because uh, even as if I, I'm 69, uh, I think I got a mindset to uh, PG uh, as a PG. So, because um, I, I like pass the ball, uh, playmaking, and other stuff uh, that a PG can do. So, so that, that's that's why I, I want to do whatever I want on the court. I mean. Uh, I'm six nine. I'm, I'm six nine, but uh, I want to do all the skills that a guy can can have, a kid can have. Can have. What do you need to do to reach your full potential? What are some of the things you need to improve on? Uh, get lower to um, to have my first step quicker as as a like like a, like a guy. Like a real guy, because I'm extremely high when I play. I'm trying to, to get lower, to to get more explosive 
as, uh, as a girl. What's it like to play in the Euroleague as a 17-year-old? Uh, that's great. That's something that, that I dream since since I watched my play, um, my dad play. Uh, um, so since I, I was three, something like that. Uh, so this this is great, and that pushed me to 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 improve my, me as a player every day, and uh, I'm glad to to play at this level so I can learn quickly. How much did it help you, you know, being the fa uh, being the son of a French national team player, a Euroleague player, a guy who's you know played really at the highest levels of basketball everywhere. Uh, you know, how much did that help you? He helped me a lot about everything, like um, before practice, after practice, before game, after games, like literally, literally uh, every time I need or every time I want, we can talk about anything and. Uh, I mean, basketball in our life is a uh, uh, DNA, so we talk about it like uh, we talk about it uh, nat naturally. So there's a lot of things that he told me that I asked him, but I, I can I cannot say what exactly we're talking about because it's, it's like our DNA is naturally the. It, the basketball come naturally in our life, in uh, our conversation. So. Is that where your basketball IQ comes from? We, you know, watching you play, we see you making a lot of plays off the ball, instinctually, defensively, being in the right spots. You know, getting deflections and steals, and you know, tipping loose balls, and you know, it's things that you don't usually. Usually, that's like the weakness of a young player is like defensively off the ball. Has that always been part of your game? Yeah, I think so. I think the, the IQ basketball is uh, in my DNA. Like uh, I always be the, that type of that type on of, uh, of a player. I mean, uh, that's come naturally to me. Tell me about your family's background. Like, where where are they from? You know, what. Uh, what any other athletes in your family besides your dad? Uh, no, just my dad play uh, a lot. Uh, he played in Spain uh, when I was born. And uh, after we we went to to, to we went in France, uh, and uh, I started I started to play basketball in France. And uh, like uh, uh, when I was three, three years old, gotcha. and uh, my sister, my little sister, uh, started to play uh, right uh, right after me. Right. Um, it, your is your family from Mauritius originally, or is that your uncle or something like that? My my uncle uh, lived in uh, Réunion. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and my and my grandma uh, come from uh, West Indies. Is that from your mother's side or your father's uh, side? My father's side. Okay. Have you ever been back there? No, I've never been. Just one time in the Reunion. Yeah. Uh, to see my cousin and my uncle. I lo I looked at the map. It's like you know, by Madagascar or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. That's pretty cool, man. Great stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you too.